Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Showmont. Before we jump in, I want to say thank you all for continuing to support our channel. We're getting closer and closer to 2,200 subscriptions, so please help us get there today. We're 14 short, so push us over the line. We thank you in advance. Let's jump right in. This is a different type of topic for me because I, I understand both sides of it, but I don't, but I don't, this is the the topic I'm going to jump in is the WNBA all-star game and the three point contest along with the skills competition. This is a situation like the NBA's dunk contest where we waited for 20 years for LeBron James to be in the dunk contest only for him to say no for 20 years. And I hope we don't see something similar with this. Because the WNBA announced who would be in the three-point contest, and the list does not include Caitlin Clark and Sabrina Ionescu. Yet the WNBA has no problem shipping Sabrina Ionescu during the offseason to go have a three-point contest versus Steph Curry. Both of them were invited. So I will say that. They were both invited, but both of them declined. Why they really declined, I don't know. I know that Sabrina Ionescu's camp put out some statement that she's practicing with the Olympic team. The All-Star game is Saturday. It's it's Saturday. Are are you telling me that the people on the Olympic team would not watch the skills competition? I mean, I'm just curious, but I would think that they would. It, it's a weird situation. Now, Caitlin Clark, I get it. She's been nonstop now since October. But she's playing in the All-Star game on Saturday. So I don't truly understand. I don't truly understand why she would not compete in this. Heck, I don't understand why she wouldn't compete in the skills competition. She's the most skilled player in the league. I did see how much they pay them. It's not much. It's not remotely enough, in my opinion, for anyone to want to do it. Because they pay the guys in the NBA a whole lot more. But I don't understand why... Arguably, the two most skilled players... In the WNBA, are not competing in the skills competition or the three point shootout. I don't get it. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. The game is Saturday. Why in the world would they not be able to shoot jump shots for a day for 30 minutes? Why couldn't they do a dribbling show in 30 minutes? I, these this this is just a failure on so many so many in so many ways by the WNBA. If you're paying them 2500 bucks to win and 1000 bucks to show up, guess what? You know what you do? You hand Sabrina Ionescu and you hand Caitlin Clark 100 grand or 200 grand or 500 grand or whatever it takes to ensure that your two best shooters and I'm not going by percentages because that's not how per- the best shooters are determined in this league because of how people are defended differently because everyone knows Steph Curry's the best shooter in the NBA yet he's not number 1 in three point shooting percentage but how you could allow the two best shooters in the league to not compete when the stove is piping hot and people are watching your game so damn much 
that you're not going to have either, not either, both of those women. You know how you could build this? You know how you could build this comp build this competition, the story on it? It'd be like Caitlyn versus Sabrina for the three-point contest. Nobody cares about the other five women. John Quell Jones, Kayla McBride, Marina Mabry, Alicia Gray. Uh, who was the other one? There's one more. I don't even remember who it was because nobody freaking cares. Nobody cares. Let me see who it was. So I don't, I don't leave them out. I don't want to be offensive to anyone. Um, three point competition. But nobody cares. People wanted to see Sabrina face off with Caitlin Clark in this three point competition. That's it. That game, that that competition might get watched more than the game. Realistically, who is the fourth? It's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Stephanie Dolson is the fifth person. So, Stephanie Dolson, John Quell Jones, Kayla McBride, Leisha Gray, and Marina Mabry are in the three point contest. But your two most prolific and most well known shooters are not in this competition doing battle. This is like MJ versus Dominique Wilkins in the dunk contest in the 80s. And you don't want, and they, they're not in it. I don't, I get it. So Caitlin might be a little tired. I get it. I get it. She might be tired. But at the end of the day, she's playing on Saturday, and then she can go on for vacation. Then she can go on vacation then. The WNBA dropped the ball here. I don't care if they said no. You make them say yes. You do whatever it takes to get them to say yes. And if that means you cut a monster check to make them say yes, that's what you have to do here. It's what you have to do. Now, we can also talk about Angel Reese's component to this. She's not in the skills competition. I mean, I think realistically she's not skilled enough to be in it. But let's be real. She draws eyes. She draws eyes. So you got to get her in there. She needs to be in it. You can't have your two most marketed players, for the most part, in the league, definitely your most marketed one, not be in this competition. But this is not a surprise. This is how the WNBA drops the ball constantly. And they wonder why people get... Don't watch their, their their stuff. They wonder why people, you know, don't, are not interested. You can't even market something that's on fire for you. Ionescu's excuse of she's playing, she's practicing with the Olympic team? What? Are you telling me that no one from the Olympic team is going to be at the skills competition in the three-point contest on Friday night? Of course they are. That's an excuse. You don't want to play, don't, but don't make an excuse about it. However, again, I'm disappointed in both of these women. However, the WNBA has to make them compete. And you make them compete by cutting them a check to make them want to compete. It's not a complicated proposition here. And you might say I'm crazy, but that's how you do it. Fuck you, pay me. That's how it rolls. And that's what they're basically telling you. Fuck you, pay me. And the WNBA decided to not pay them. And instead, they're going to get some C-minus level three-point contest and a, and a skills contest that includes the same people from the three-point contest. Because I believe it's um, Alicia Gray and, 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 and Marina Mabry are in that one too. And Brittany Griner. I think I also, also, also saw Sophie Cunningham. Come on, man. Come on now. Like, what are we doing, man? You have the opportunity to blow this thing up. Blow it up. And you're going to lose viewership now Friday night because the people that want to see Caitlin Clark don't get to see Caitlin Clark. The people that want to see Angel Reese don't get to see Angel Reese. The people that want to see Sabrina Ionescu don't get to see Sabrina Ionescu. The fact of the matter is 
they got players in here that are not marketable. They're not popular. No one outside of people who are avid WNBA viewers really knows who any of these people are except for Brittany Griner, who I, who I read was in the skills competition. Bro, I, I, I fuck. I, I, at times, you, you just, you, you, you have to scratch your head and, and ask yourself, what the hell is going on? You have to ask yourself, what the hell is going on? Because this stuff makes no sense. But what are your thoughts? Leave a, leave a comment. Let us know what you think about this. What do you think? Are you upset with these players for not competing? Because I think this is a, I think they I think they should get some backlash for this. You're trying to promote a league. And two of your most marketable players are not going to be competing. So leave a comment. Be sure to follow, subscribe, and like our podcast and hearing ring that bell i always get tongue-tied on that crap come on now